What's up? I trust you are well. All Scan 12 here sharing with you my 100 days of code challenges and we are now at day 6 exercise 4. This is just a continuation of our character named Reborg to reach the goal shown with a plug by avoiding obstruction or hurdles but this time with the increase in difficulty. Here is the additional information about the hurdles race exercise sport challenge for you to read. Once we are done reading the additional information and understand what we should be doing, let's get started with the coding. If you missed the last three parts, I highly suggest that you watch them first then come back to this exercise. So going back to this fourth challenge, you will notice that the position, the height, and the number of hurdles changes each time this challenge is reloaded. And to add a little bit of difficulty, you want to make sure that the final code will also run without any problem in the previous hurdle challenges. So hurdle 1, hurdle 2, and hurdle 3. Mind you that before I watch the instructor solutions to this challenge, I am trying my best to solve it first using what I've learned so far. I'll show you at the end of this video my solution compared to what's our instructor's solution. Anyway, let's begin modifying this code but before doing that, let's take a look at the Reborg's basic keyboard and check what is that condition that we can use. We will keep the while loop using at goal condition. The next condition is front is clear. I think we can give this a go. Let's use it then. Going back to our Python code, obviously our jump definition will not work anymore because of the varying heights of our hurdles. So let's get rid of this definition by deleting line 6 to line 13. Next we will keep our while not at goal condition. Then instead of saying if wall in front, let's change this to if front is clear. Let's assume that our robot is here. So if front is clear, our robot will move forward. This time, the front is not clear. So this can be captured by else statement. So we can say, else, turn left. If front is clear, our robot will move forward. Else, will turn left. So as in this case, the front is not clear, so our robot will turn left. Now, our robot is facing up. And if the front is clear, our robot will move forward. Now that our robot is at coordinates X and Y, I need to add an extra step to tell our robot to turn right if there is no wall on the right. Let's add it and examine if this will work. Let's take this code step by step. Here we go. So first step, if front is clear, so at this time front is clear, it will move forward and then turn right. Next step, if front is clear, obviously not because it's facing the wall, so it will turn left. Next step, if front is clear, obviously not because it's facing the hard end it will turn left. Next, if front is clear, it will move forward, then turn right. Next, if front is clear, obviously not, it will turn left. Next, if front is clear, it will move and turn right. Obviously not, turn left, move and turn right turn left move and turn right then front is clear yes so move and turn right next front is clear yes so move and turn right front is clear obviously not so turn left so looks like this one will work isn't it Let's reset the challenge and hit the run button instead.
there you have it. It worked. Our robot took 549 steps to reach the goal. Let's now try the same code to the previous level since part of this challenge is that whatever code we come up in this level, it should also work in the previous levels. Let's try this in Hurdle 1 challenge. As you can see, it will take 259 steps for our robot to reach the goal and comparing it to our previous solution at this level, it will only take 92 steps with the same outcome but different way of writing the code. Let's try this code now to hurdle 2 challenge. Cool! Finally, let's try this to Hardle 3 challenge. There you have it. As a conclusion, no matter where is the goal and how the hurdles changes its position, number and heights, this code can cover all these sorts of situation. Time to confirm my solution now to our instructor since I want to find out if I can reduce the number of steps needed for our robot to reach the goal.